So, Supernatural is back with its final seven episodes. The first out of those final seven aired, which was episode 14. And overall, it was actually pretty good. Clearly a filler episode, but a little bit of character progression for Jack. Because, he, you know, he still feels bad in this episode for killing their mother. And But then obviously, Dean and Sam, they forgive him. And Jack, you know, does learn from his mistakes because he does have his soul back now. Get an opening to Sam and Dean, you know, seeing the whole place being messed up. The warden getting all messed up. And then they, like, eject the turn-off button and this uh, bunker grid control thing which we've never seen before it's as if it feels like each season after they introduce the bunker they introduce something new that we've never seen before even though that isn't the case they introduce the big garage in nine that's it basically i mean we see like the telescope things and the radar thing which gets explained in this episode but like this is probably one of the last secret places or oh, in that dungeon too they, they have a dungeon but this grid uh control thing is probably one of the last things that we'll ever see and i figured they would do like you know one more episode dedicating to one more history behind the bunker and how it got its wording apparently it's this woman who's a wood nymph n l m p h don't know how to say it right she's one of those creature or whatever and she has magic and she's the one who put all the wordings and one guy from season nine that wanted nina's zoo pet he used her or reprogrammed her to kill all evil and monsters that would hurt her boys which were the men of letters and she considers Sammy the men of letters as well because she's got to protect her boys however she does feel this need to go back home which is the woods but most of the fun out of this episode is actually with this miss butler lady mrs butler i mean not butler the hell am i saying mrs butter she like takes sam and dean through like halloween and christmas and thanksgiving and all that fun and jazz stuff and she talks to, to jack and that's where his like character you know progression goes asking him if he's still a monster or does he consider himself you know to be a monster first thing she does she does say or notice is that you know how how powerful and strong she is and she's looks worried about that she tends to him at first yeah and then we, we get a fun montage of sam and dean getting lunch every time they go out and hunt so the holiday montage but because magnus of that man of letters his name was magnus since he like reprogrammed her to just kill any or all kinds of monsters she sees jack as a monster because as jack said before he killed the boy's mothers and she sees that as inflicting pain on the boys so she has him drink these goddamn milkshakes these milkshakes had something in them obviously so that she can depower him she like cuffs him blocks him away tries to convince dean to be like hey be on my side kill the jack kill this monster and dean's loving this by the way he, he's like a goddamn kid right he's enjoys all in the food that he's been enjoying and you know, he's obviously not gonna be on her side but he's also conflicted because he has these amazing meals and he's being taken care of and the whole bunker's being cleaned and he obviously doesn't trust her but she just claims that he's being infected by jack jack is infecting them this is kind of like when when angels are like righteous when they think they're right and right only there's only one way because she's reprogrammed that way by magnus himself so she locks dean's up so sam comes back from his date from eileen which he does go to, to a date because they have all this free time because so mrs butter she tries to convince sam he, you know he calls him and there's like a you know sex joke with a silent watch thing and sam gets called by her but you know sam is her favorite so she decides to pull out his goddamn nail which looked good well i don't know didn't look i mean clearly it wasn't blood but the ripping apart thing that was it, it looked good dean and jack they get out as well they push that button so she could go back but obviously she's super powerful she could be very helpful to you know defeating god but she's gotta go probably wouldn't way too easy but she comes back because she's super powerful says that all these three boys have been really really naughty she almost tries to kill jack tries to convince the two brothers again that he is evil he needs to be stopped she, it doesn't matter if he's good or anything or has a soul or, or whatever she's programmed by magnus to kill evil and monsters which jack finds out by seeing a film where she like rips the head off of a nazi presented by magnus himself so they even you know got him back as well that actor but eventually both sam and dean they get to her say that he can save the world the whole point as to why the original men of letters wanted her so that she can she herself can or well not herself but the men of letters can save the world and jack can do that so they obviously convince her to do that however in the end she still wants to go back to her home which is in the woods and this actress playing this uh, miss butler lady she is very i said miss butler mrs butter uh, she's a very nice and charming lady she has a very a motherly feel to her which is good throughout the whole episode i was like oh this is a fun episode to come back to I, i'm not gonna lie i was expecting like really boring filler okay to boring bad episode but nope turns out this is a fun and charming episode she eventually goes back when, when she does go i don't i think the she said there's no more warding in the bunker or just things will go back to normal i think she said things will just go back to normal sam wielding thor's hammer is back in one of the montages that was a thing in season eight she just decided to bring that back that was pretty cool a few things get explained that big ass telescope in the background that we've always seen in the show turns out to be a galaxy a telescope that can see other galaxies obviously when dean looked into it there's nothing there because god is destroying other 
other galaxies. And that little bunger thing, that is a monster radar. Would have been really useful, but you know, it would have been a MacGuffin because it's too easy. Which is why they just kind of left it there from season 8 through 14 and just kind of explained it in the last season. And I was not expecting a fun, good episode from the comeback to the season, but I was pleasantly surprised. Next episode looks like it's going to be story heavy with Cass. Apparently he has a secret to tell them. Hopefully it doesn't isn't boring but what ultimately matters is the end if episodes 15 through 19 is bad or for some reason which is a possibility it doesn't matter ultimately the end is what matters just end it on a good and satisfying note please